Funeral arrangements for replacing wedding and baby shower plans for 21-year-old Taewon Boyd and his girlfriend. She's expecting the couple's second child. He died Wednesday, three days after a violent altercation with Baltimore County Police responding to a disturbance call. I just want my son back. I mean, they could have tased him, they could have maced him. According to sources, one of the medics called to the scene gave Boyd haloperidol, an antipsychotic drug used to calm agitated individuals. Police write, Boyd became so calm that Officer Bowman asked a medic to check the suspect for a pulse. The autopsy is a crucial piece of evidence. Police confirm a key element of this case will be the impact the calming drug may have had on Boyd. Autopsy results are expected to be available in seven days. This began 3 a.m. September 16th at Aiken Circle in Middle River. Officers say Boyd seemed confused, paranoid, and sweated heavily. According to the incident report, Boyd told police, there is someone in the house you need to go inside and search. He further stated that he believes his girlfriend got him intoxicated and it's secretly recording him while someone else is in the home. There's been a statement put out that his mind wasn't right cognitively, uh, but certainly nothing dealing with uh, aggression or anger or abuse. Boyd's girlfriend told police he had been drinking and smoking pot. Officers report when they try to take him to the hospital for an emergency evaluation, Boyd ran, screaming, knocking on neighbors' doors, asking them to call police. Officers say he resisted all attempts to be restrained. And the police had him on, he was on his shoulder and laying him down, face down on the ground. And they was holding him, looked like they was hitting him or something. Police write during the scuffle, an officer punched him twice in the face. I come saying, y'all hurting him, y'all hurting him. He comes saying, Grandma, they trying to kill me, they trying to kill me, Grandma. Police then called for an ambulance. A medic gave him haloperidol to calm him and for transport to Franklin Square Hospital. Authorities say it will be at least seven days before those autopsy results are available. Reporting live from Chase, Baltimore County, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.